Hello everybody and welcome back to the next Unity tutorial video. Today we're going to go ahead and continue on with our matching game. So we left off where we could create our board. The next step is to generate our cards so that they are randomized. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and create a new class uh, called Game Settings. Let's open this up. Okay. And then this is not going to be a model behavior. Uh, the game settings class is going to use the uh, singleton uh, design. Uh, so what that means is we're going to have a private static reference to this class. We are also going to have a private constructor to this class. So that means no other class can actually create an object of this type. We are going to have a public static uh, uh, public interface uh, to use that is going to return a game setting object. And it's going to be called instance. And then we will check to see if our game setting is equal to null. If it's null, then we want to create it. And then we just want to return our game setting. So this type of structure or setup allows you to do something like a constant class without having to use constants. Uh, it also allows you to enforce that there is only ever one of these objects in existence since that nothing else can create it and you only ever make it once. So we're going to do some stuff in here. We're going to have an enumeration called our game difficulty. which will be easy, medium, hard. And then we will have a public game difficulty, difficulty, which will be by default easy. And then we will have a couple of private string arrays called easy and then let's copy this one more time so this one will be medium and then this one will be hard so the point of these strings or string arrays is to contain a list of these depending on what our difficulty is going to be. So this one will contain blue, gold, and green. Blue, gold, and green. Uh, the next one will contain the same one as the easy, plus two more. So pink and purple. And the hard one will contain all of these plus two more. Uh, red and teal.
Okay, so these are our difficulties, and as you can guess that depending on the difficulty you choose is how hard matching them are going to be based, based on the uh, different varieties that you can possibly get. We're going to go ahead and include a using statement uh, for our collections.generic so we can get a list. And we are going to have a public list of string. And this will be called our card types. And this is going to be a property, which means it has a getter and a setter. Uh, we're never going to set this, so we're only going to describe the getter. And this will be a switch case based on our difficulty. So we have an easy case, a medium case, and a hard case. Uh, in here, we're going to go ahead and create a list of strings, temp list, and if it's an easy list, we're going to add range, our easy difficulty. Otherwise, we're going to add range, our medium. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with hard. And then after the switch, we will say return temp list. Okay. Um, we're going to make a couple of functions. Get our string. Get random type. This will return our card type sub random dot range between zero and card types dot count. And then we're also going to go ahead and have a public void set difficulty difficulty which takes in a game difficulty and just sets our difficulty equal to diff. this is going to be private and in playmat we can say our game setting dot instance uh, we're going to set our difficulty for testing we just want to see if our yeah we just want to go with medium just to see if it's working Uh, okay. All right. So we created our cards and we assigned them to a slot. <laughs>